Good day, this is Natasha from Sakura Art. Today I am going to do a flip through of my new journal and um, also maybe do some journaling and I am going to do, going to look at washi tape also. Um, but first I am going to flip through my new journal that I've made for myself. So my previous journal is finished or oh, not finished it's it's complete and um so i made this new one um this is a 18 by 27 centimeter journal it's got three signatures in usually when i make my journals it will be a four signature but um because it's my personal one and i do add a lot of um pictures and um ephemera and extra things inside my journal more like a scrap um, book kind of thing uh it, it do became quite thick so um so i just did the free with less paper in if that makes sense okay so i was inspired by bridgerton um the series the the green the greens and the postals and like that, that romantic feel to it so i was inspired with that um so what i have done i usually i've got a thick cardstock that i will make my journals out of but this one because it's my own one um you kind of do it easy peasy so what i have done i use a cereal box and i just cover it with um with material obvious i thicken the spine with extra um with extra material and um extra cardstock just to thicken that a little bit up to make it stronger especially where it folds okay so i've covered it with material and then i painted i wanted it to, to be olive green but i didn't have olive green so i decided i'm going to mix green with black until I have the shade um, obviously it became out a little bit darker I'm fine with that but I did add on the corners and on the side um, light green just to break that dark green or the dark um, shade in and then I wanted to do like a wallpaper feeling and I use a stencil with I don't know if it's copper or gold I have to say both of them kind of look for me the same i think no it's gold sorry yeah it's gold so i just went over with gold on a stencil and i put it everywhere on and then for the th this two corners and the side i use scrap paper that i ripped and um you know, I, I just put some washi tape on it and then some book paper and um add the word moment and memories with butterflies and roses and then i think it's a mannequin i don't know what you call this um but i add that on and for the the journal that's here the embellishment or your yeah, embellishment i i found this piece of wood in my i think it's a charm box where I just throw all my charms and things in that I wanted to want to use in the journals. It, earrings, there was earrings on. Um, so usually when you do, you go to craft markets, they will sell the earrings and then it's on like a piece of wood. So I keep everything and I use that and I just mulch porch some book paper on it and I went with um my stamp i put in journal so the stamp was a little bit the ink of my stamp was a little bit light i just went over with um my gel you know, my gel ink pen and then i wait and i wait for it to dry where before i put on my varnish or my um i think it's much water varnish just to you know um to seal everything and then for I don't want to put in an eyelid so what i've done i don't i put these things in i don't know what you call this but um your i put that on 
for that so when i am finished i can use a ribbon and i can close my journal to say like this journal is closed anyway like i said it's a free piece of a free signature journal inside here i use not inside i use um embroidery sign thing sign um yeah i use that for my um to bind my signatures and obviously it's green so and it's a little bit lighter green so it kind of breaks the dark green into it as for my charms i use the same okay i'm going to call this eyelet i use the same type of eyelet that i use in the front of my journal and then um for my charms and um, ribbons i add in um some different types of ribbon so i've got pink this was on i think it's like you know you get that presents every christmas where it's cream and soap and one of those presents i usually i do keep all the ribbons that comes with it and i just add that on um this this ribbon on and it's kind of cute because it's got bell and whistle on so it goes with the with the theme of this journal and then this is a very old ribbon i remember i bought it when i think i went to cape town and i bought it there to do some artwork or something artsy with it and i can't remember but i've kept it for long it's 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 been a long time in my stash and then some lace that I found on the ground in my study or in the studio. Uh, I didn't even know I've got it, but I use that with the blue ribbon. And then I add a high heel charm on um, that I had. I think this was on a bracelet. I don't really use, wear bracelets. It kind of irritates me. So yeah, this bracelet I that this one was on was one that i got from my 21st birthday so it's quite old things um that i add on my um not that i'm old but it's it's old <laughs> but anyway so i add that on as a charm as that memory of my younger years and then also a button so this same button i've got a few of this button i keep it um on the side because i want to add that to every journal that i've made um so my previous journal also have that charm in and then for my bottle it's a origami bird that i um i don't know if you can see it but it's an origami bird that i glue inside the bottle i fold it i glue it and then i add some um fairy dust or some white glitter it said on the bottle fairy dust and then i just add some beads and some stars towards it and then this was an old earring that i used to wear i think i lost the other one and um yeah it's just a wooden heart that i add that on and then uh, here is another earring that broke so obvious it um it's a very i can't even remember but I remember there was a stage in our lives where we were, we will wear this um, chandelier earrings. So this one is, I think, I don't even know where's the other one. So it broke, but I use this now on, and it goes with the theme, with the the lady theme. If you keep, if you understand what I mean, the vintage theme. And then Dina made me made me a charm that she said no she's gonna make me a charm for my new journal and um i just added on so it was just pure luck that the 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 stone on on this charm is also green <laughs> so yeah so it actually looks very nice with this and then um this is just a bead with that I add on to make almost look like a flower and then for this rose that I put on it was one of my sister's um, bridal the 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 what you call the bridesmaid um, the maid of honor the dress that I wear for her um, wedding 
um, it had like this roses on and the other day when I look in, inside my cupboard I found one of the roses it fell off of the belt that was on the dress so I just add that on this journal okay so for the inside journal I add, I'm not finished really with it but so obvious there's some insects that um, that's on and then there's something oh this is this what I do before I start actually when I start with the new journal I will add in um, the date that it started and um, just some info about this and like I said this is a free um, free signature so it's got free signatures in this signature was actually in my previous journal but my previous journal got a little got too thick so i took one of the signatures out and i just kept it because i know i really want to use that so i added into this journal so this one is it's i add that on so i didn't have to make a new a extra signature so i add scrapbooking paper for my cover of my signature and then inspirational quotes so i want to add inspirational things that inspire me so i want to add that quotes on here and then um just a normal um ink paper and brown paper coloring paper old books notebooks paper Yes, one pocket. I didn't add in the other signatures pockets because I do want to add it in while I am journaling. And um, I am not, I don't want to say I am a swifty because I'm not a swifty swifty, but I do like some of the music. So I print out on just line paper. I print out you are on your own kit because I do love the words of the, of um of it so i just print that out and i put it in and then there's some printed papers and then i add in a, a pink bow letter that i found in a box that i wanted to add inside the journal some lined paper this is a very old envelope when I remember when I was still a youngster, I visited the Hillsong Church in South Africa, in Pretoria. And we received like an envelope. And so I just add that envelope in. So obviously that is going to be a pocket. That maybe if there's something private. So obvious this is going through that theme of hats. But also the theme that I'm looking for. Some book paper, line paper dictionary paper biology <laughs> and then yeah so here is another um pink pound letter from america so i just wanted to add that in um i think this all this that's inside that's extra inside this journal that i add in it's from the um it's from the the previous journal and this so this is a new part of the journal that i add in so the cover the scrapbooking paper just some printed papers that is very nice but i'm not going to use it anyway in for something so i just add that on because you can always cover it with some um some memories so this is a fermentation it's got a fermentation on some lined paper old um daily planner paper scrapbooking paper like i said here's some print, printed papers that i'm not using but i don't want to throw it away so i just add that in sorry i'm just going a little bit faster some different um, sizes of paper i do like the variation of the different papers in the journal and then this sorry i went a little bit very for, um quick and this is the other one so it's got the same um picture on that on front of my journal so as you can see i add i think it's about two centimeters between each signature that i add in so 
the paper the the signature can can become very thick or that um if i want to add something i still can add something so this is the last signature like i said it's got different completely different types um line papers in and normal papers and small papers um some scrapbooking paper i didn't go really with a theme inside my journal but i tried to do it for myself but um yeah i just went oh i i just went with the paper that talks to me at that moment so so this is for my new journal so obvious when i am finished with this journal i'm going to paste a, a, a paper on here or a card that said okay this is the memories that i have this is how i'm feeling about my journal or my journey with my with this journal and the last time that i written or wrote something inside this journal okay so this is for this journal and then um i don't know if i'm going to do it but i do want to add some things inside my journal <clears throat> so before i start i actually won a giveaway competition from bubblegum fridge so i do want to add that inside my journal so this is what i've got it's so sweet um I didn't add the box because then I have to take everything out. But I do love the, um, this is not a sponsored video, but more a thank you video for Bubblegum Fridge. Um, fringe, not fridge. <coughs> Sorry. I keep on saying fridge and not fringe. But I really like, I like this stuff. I never bought anything from them. I'm always too scared to buy things that i can't see and can't feel but i am so happy obviously it's a giveaway so yeah but i'm so happy about this um i definitely going to use the the crinkle paper inside my journal and then um a, a, like a congratulations so i love this and i'm gonna add that and and for the washi tape so I went through this side they've got a lot of different washi washi tape um stationery and um yeah a lot of stationery and um i think i saw i don't know if i'm right but they do um they do understand that now i'm messing up my english but they do support local artists of south africa and journals and um yeah i i saw that on the wet website but anyway so i just want to show you the um washi tape so obvious i am going to do a sample of the washi tape inside my journal and um so it's got watercolors and butterflies and yeah and different sizes that i do love the different sizes of of um of washi tape because usually i need to cut it smaller and so this is for that i want to add in my journal um yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed the okay wait before i go further on let's sample the the washi tape so we can start doing that let me just get the patch i do like to, to sample washi tape on um on a brown paper let me just see if i can find my one of these i'm actually looking for my bigger one i don't want to there's my paper i just want to it's a little bit bouncy okay so i am what i'm going to do i'm going to sample so you guys can see the washi tape i'm going to start with the one side and then i'm going to do the i'm going to start with the small so you guys can see i do love washi tape i think it's my life is my family um no it's first god and jesus and the holy spirit and then it's my family my house family my circle and then it's my cats coffee and then washi tape <laughs> i think that's how my life is okay so Ah, oh, sorry guys. 
so this is it's got it's pink and it's like i said it's watercolors so it's got a pink with um i think it's lines like squibble lines on i may be wrong so i'm just gonna add that in here and here's a blue one with dots To rip it yes uh oh that yo yeah, that's more green sorry green and this one is a blue that's got like an arrow i'm gonna rip it it's just easier or else i need to pick up my um my scissor oh this one is so cute when i look at this i think about sprinkles So this is for the thin, um, the smaller or the thin washi tape. And then I'm going with this one. So this is your normal size of washi tape. It's got um, golden leaves on. I think it's leaves. It looks like leaves. It gives you kind of that wallpaper feel. I like that word. I think that's for today's my word, wallpaper. And here is uh, one that's got um, also leaves on. And it's very soft colors. I do like it. Um, some greenery that's got some greenery on. Then this is your more thicker one. Oh, this is so cute. It's got, I don't know if you guys can really see the detail, but it's got um, like birds on. Don't ask me what bird. I'm just going to say it's a bird. See, there's a line, but I don't know if the line. Okay, I'm just going to go like this. Oh, it does break on the line. Okay, so this is for the line, the thicker one, the bigger one. And it's got some very nice birds on. Um, it's got white birds, like a dove. And I can't see a, a falcon. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice keeps going away. And this one's got, um, so it's more pinkish. And it has butterflies. I do love butterflies. Sorry, mm. I don't want to do that. It's got butterflies on and some flowers. Just see. And roses. It's got roses and butterflies. Um, okay, let me finish up with this big one. So this got flowers on and leaves. So, obvious between this to this. This size is a little bit smaller. Okay. So this got, it looks like a, a star. The, um, and feathers, it's got stars and feathers on. This one I've got up. Oh, this one's got waves. Try to do like a smaller piece. Yeah, just got waves and it looks so lovely. And like I said before, everything is watercolors. So if you like watercolors, go have a look at Bubblegum Fridge. And her things, fringe, not fridge. Okay. And it's got a big flower. Let me just add that there. 
and here is some other ones some more flowers i do love flowers okay and then now they are four okay it's two different sizes but they are four of these that's got um that looks or that's got that um water paint feeling and green so it's purple green okay so you can use your journal me just a, a, a A tip you can use your journal for everything um i do like to add all my washi tape my samples especially in the beginning um so i can always have a look at it and at the end um, because you do have that small pieces over and i will always add that small pieces in my journal for some reason even if i just need to cover up something i will add that in okay and then for the last two this one's got music notes on also white and gold add that inside on on there and then this one got um some words on that say let me just get it off um a good fortune live long and prosper and then the best place for your so it's just got some um good vibes words in if i can use that in a sentence but it's got like a um just some affirmations almost on so this is for all the washi tape that i've got from the giveaway and um yeah so I am going in my own time I'm going to add this in I don't know yet how but I'm going to add it in and then I think I, I will let me just because this is not working for me okay and I think I, I will show on my Instagram I will actually have have it on the whole journal process all the things that I've done with it okay thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoy it and um this is my first time that I'm actually showing you guys the washi type. So I'm still learning. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope all of you will have a lovely day. Um, please remember, remember to like. And if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. And then um, my, my partner always say, ring that bell. I don't think I'm there yet, but yo, um, I hope you guys will have a lovely time until I see you again. Thank you for watching.